this is too big into this part here for the hole that it's going into. So I have to, I have to enlarge it. that you tighten that make sure that you tighten that but you keep this keep it keep the vice grips on there We had to redo it because I didn't follow the directions exactly the way that, like, okay, follow directions, but I didn't pay attention to the, the picture. And so over here, there's a hole in the side of this that goes through the top and into the actual body for the cable. And I just had it going on the outside. And plus we needed to center it a little better anyway, so, but, yeah, not fun. Okay, so what we've done is right now we're trying to get it so we can put these snaps down. On there. So we've got to stretch out the material to get it done. Um, yeah, you can't see any of the cable, which is good. But this is a little bit looser, I think, than as far as there's a little more material than was when we did it first. But anyway, Allison is threading the cable through. And but we got we gotta let it up so she can get it all the way through now. Okay, so with both tension, both of the spring um, tension wires right here and here, uh, this is about as slow as I can go right now because of, of the top. Once we can get it down to the point where we, we can shut it, then I will actually actually attach and glue down this part. Um, And I am gonna have to put in the screws whenever this stretches enough. But 
unfortunately, it's not summer here in Utah. Or I could take it out all the way out and just let it sit in the sun for a few hours. Because then it would really warm up. But... I need to cut this. Because my tab broke right here, so I put a new screw in. Yeah, see, we'll be able to do a little better job of that too. This has to, this 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 seam has to run along the edge of the curve, and but slightly down. Oh, did I just break something. Oh no. Shoot. Uh, I think I broke the loop. Um, from this other side where it attaches to the spring. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great. So I'm gonna interrupt a little bit here because um, I need to talk about what happened the next day. Um, I lost all the footage for somehow, I don't know how I did it, but I lost all the footage for the next day, but there wasn't very much because we didn't get very much accomplished that next day. Um, we only got two things really, um, and they were kind of important. Uh, the first is we were able to recrimp those side tensioning cables properly. And the next was we were able to put some screws down th through the vinyl onto the, into the body, but really that's all we could do because we were still waiting in vain for that vinyl to stretch. Um, but the problem was it wasn't getting very getting hot. Uh, but a little bit about those side tensioning cables. Um, in the instructions, Chuck just tells you to crimp those ends. Once you've made the loop and, cr and crimp it, he doesn't tell you exactly how or what to use. See, I thought I could use some big pliers like this and really, you know, put some effort into it to crimp it. And it, it worked. I mean, I, I couldn't get it out by hand, but as soon as we got it in place and there's some actual real tension put on, on that, that, that cable, it came right out. Um, and it wasn't because I, you know, didn't have any strength to do it. It just, I was using the wrong tool. I discovered that when I went to Home Depot to pick up another one of those crimper, the, the actual parts that you crimp onto the, to the cable. Um, the salesman said, hey, you're going to want to have a swagging tool for that. I've never even heard of a swagging tool. I said, well, what is that? And then they showed it to me, and it's this big, huge thing right here. Um, and he says, you're going to, trust me, he says, you're going to need this for the leverage to, in order to crimp that properly. And you know what? He's absolutely right. <laughs> so um, that's one of those other things that, you know, Chuck just says crimp it. He doesn't tell you what to use. He doesn't suggest using a swagging tool, he just says crimp it. Um, maybe, maybe when the book was written, they had different, some different uh, um, pieces of metal that you were, you were you were crimping. I don't know. All I know is that doing it the, the, the traditional way with a regular large pair of pliers didn't work. So what we didn't have doing though is because that had come out, I had to re-thread it in there. And because I'd already cut it, it, would really, it made it really difficult. It, that, that one's a little bit more tighter as far as the length is a little shorter by a little bit, just a little bit, than the the one on the driver's side. So, um, but we ended up recrimping all four crimps using the swagging tool. And that, that way we knew for, for sure that it wasn't gonna come out again. And trust me, you're gonna wanna do that. If, if you're using Chuck's um, materials that he sends out, find a friend who's got one of these or these cost 25 bucks at um, Home Depot. Our biggest hindrance still was the fact that it wasn't very warm in the, the garage and um, the vinyl still wasn't stretching um, the way it was supposed to. So at the, toward the end of that day, we, we uh, called up my nephew and said, hey, can we borrow your forced air propane heater? And he said, sure. So I went there to his house, picked, picked it up and he showed me how to use it, but something was wrong with it. Um, the, probably the thermal coupler wasn't working, but it, you can light it, you can get it lighted. But then if you try to, uh, once it once it's we're supposed to wait like 30 seconds after the pilot light is lit and then let go and then it'll start doing the, the shooting out the, the, the flames the way it's supposed to but it never it never did if you lift it up it would always the pilot light would go out so we had to basically <laughs> rig it so there was a clamp on that that little dial 
So that it stayed basically in pilot light lighting mode, which reduced the heat that it put out, but um, it still was better than nothing. So I took it next morning, we picked up, um, um, we filled up the propane tank and then we got to it. So, and that's, that's where the next video will pick up. But thanks for watching, thanks for commenting. Um, please um, be patient with this process. There's, there's several days of this and um, thanks for joining me on this uh, misadventure. Have a great day.